Okay guys, so right now I'm just going to do a video on my storage. Now, I don't really... <laughs> um, I want to preface this, that the storage capacity is good, but it is very heavy. We're talking the three of these that you see in front of you, which are the Dewalt T-Stacks, T-S-K, A-K, something like that. Um, I don't know, T-S, T-A-K, there we go. Um, they are, the three of these together are about 20 pounds. They're a little heavy, um, but they offer some amazing storage capa um, capabilities. Um, we're going to start with the bottom, and I'm going to show you in a second what makes these so good that I enjoy them. Um, so the bottom, we have one of the T-Stacks, it's the double drawer. Um, I actually keep my Imperial Fighters in here. Um, you can see, there we go, yeah, you can see B-Wings, bases, tokens, objective cards. I have a better system planned out for this, but this is what I'm using for now. And you can hear that ball bearing action. It actually gets smooth at the top one. You can't even hear it. I've got laser pointers, defense tokens, squadrons that still need to be painted, and you can see the Imperial bases right there. I've actually split it out. You know, let's get a closer look. I've actually split it out so you have ties, special characters, more ties, and then you have the special uh, then you have the tie advanced and you know the non-standard ties. So that's how I have it currently set up. Now, I'm going to show you what makes these things so worth it for me, okay? I'm not going to say they're for everyone. They are just personally my favorite storage capacity. And here's what it is. Give me a moment. There we go. It's this little section right here. This pops out, just like you heard. Wow. I don't know if you heard it, but yeah. There it goes, pops the other side, and watch this. You saw me lift it a second ago. Oh, would you look at that. Now, we have access to this bottom container. Now that was the top section. All of these actually do come off. See, just like that. So, now I've got three amazing storage compartments that I can take apart, reassemble as w at will, so I can build like, I'm gonna play Imperials today. So, let's take all my Imperials with me. Um, I'm going to play Rebels. I'm just going to take the stuff I need for Rebels. I can build that if I want. Now, this section right here is actually pretty nice. Let's move this out. If you notice, it also has its own handy-dandy uh, carrying stick. Set that off to the side because I don't need it at the moment. We'll get to this one in a second. Now we have this big one with the clear, clear section. There we go. That should be better for you guys. All right, move this forward a little, and open it up, we shall. Now look at these. These are buckets. I've got two core sets, one of each of Wave 1 right in here, worth of command dials. Two core sets, all of one of Wave 1's movement. I honestly don't think I need to put together more, because unless I'm running 700, 800, thousand points, which I think I can get to now. I don't really need all of it. Uh, large bases and a couple of small bases. A ton of small bases. We've got in here six. Yep, six small bases. That's pretty good, actually, for the size that they are. And then we have some of my uh, additional purchases of Wave 1. They don't have the dials on them. I haven't gotten to that. I'm actually waiting on my Corsac Engineering to come in. Hopefully they listen to this. Um, it's taken a little while, but they've been swamped, so I don't blame them. And then we have all the extra bases. Eventually I plan on splitting this out. One side a flight stands, one side pegs. Uh, but unfortunately I do have a broken box. Boxes where things have broken on me. Um, this one is a flighter peg, the bottom part. It actually snapped off in transit before I got this, so yeah, it's a thing. And then you can see off to the side, here we go, I have dice. Here, let's get a better look. There we go. I've got blue dice, plus all the target tokens you need. I've got my uh, initiative tokens, red dice, and my... Uh, L's. 
I don't I use those for all kinds of things from uh, framing a ship when uh, it needs to be moved around on the board because of placement issues so I can frame it up and uh, use that as the, the point and of course we've got d6 I loved using a d6 instead of the standard uh, tokens that they give you that I like counters like that but it's too much cardboard all the victory tokens I will never need and of course black dice I need to get something to fill in there. We'll find something one day. All right, that's enough for this segment. Would I get a second one of these? That's a tricky question. I don't know yet. Um, This one in particular, I would only need a second one if I got way too many bases. Um, and I might need a second one to fit large bases, but honestly, I could probably fit the two large bases I'm going to have starting right here. I'll probably need a bigger one of these big ones or need to work with this one somewhere and get the other two somewhere else, but we'll figure it out. All right, and now I'm going to clamp this back on to the other one. It's very modular. I love this setup. There we go. And of course, they all, ta-da, and actually those bottom doors do lock in place. I actually don't know if you can see this. Probably not. Let's, there we go. So they just come like this. This isn't so heavy. It's a little, got a little weight to it. I'd probably put this, this part below this because this isn't the top carry. But if you guys are curious, those bottom drawers are locked in place. It's part of the system, comes with. It's really, really nice. So let's move this off to the side. Now, some people are going to crucify me for this. That's fine. This is, I'm still in the process of building this. I'm not the richest guy in the world. So, I go with what I got. All right. Let's... There we go. So, the top section. The top section is really nice. I've got it split up. I've got Rebel Extra Ships and Micro Hangers. Uh, thank you, Sir Willy. Willy, I think it is. I've got Nebulon Bees. I don't have enough Micro Hangers, as you can see, because I've got three more Nebulons right over here and then I've got my cardboard for my ships and right below this on both sides actually squadron cards easy enough right okay blue super glue you never know when you're gonna need squadron cards more plastic or cardboard I do have some test shrimp frigates based on what I think they're gonna be um, I pretty much copied the scout to uh, frigate and then the torpedo frigate based on what I thought. I'm testing them out based on them having one movement speed at speed four of zero, one, one, and one. They're probably going to have two clicks somewhere in there, but probably at a lower speed. We'll see. And of course, asteroids, since we can only use one set. Um, I got to figure out what I'm going to put my space rocks, but that comes later. Two damage decks because, uh, yeah, I'm one of those guys who got two cores. Ship cards, once again, uh, from... Micro hangers. That's enough for that. Put most of these back. Ta -da, ta da There we go. Ooh, that fits actually really nice. Okay. While I figure things out. Then I've got, like I said, more Imperial stuff. Or not Imperial, more CR90s. I've got actually five of these things. I need to figure out a list for them. I've got the Imperial only card, or sorry, Rebel only cards. Ugh. Michael, Mikhail, but not be listening to this or else I'm going to get crucified somewhere. h and is going to make some, say, some statements somewhere. You never know. Alright, from there, we've got Grand Moth Tarkin and all the Imperial cards. Aha, I was right. Um, these actually fit in there really nice. They don't get damaged at all, so I'm not too worried about them until I get Micro Hangers. But I will get those eventually. Then, this is... Let's see here. We have our offensive upgrades. We've got below offensive upgrades, we've got your defensive upgrades. And then below that, I think, comes, yep, yeah, the ion, um, comes turbo lasers, ion cannons, and ordnance. And then up here, we have all the others intel officers, so officers, veteran captains, ton of officers, sensor teams, so uh, gunnery team stuff. And then um, crew, the engineering tech guys, engineering team, etc. I've got it pretty laid out. It's a pretty good system. I like it. I have room to grow there as well. All right, that is enough for that section. 
let's get us back down. And yes, I'm no longer in Guardian Games. I built my own table, sort of. It still needs to be spray painted. Say, table. Still needs to be spray painted. I got some sections. Nothing much. But yeah, I'm doing this in my rented room. Nothing fancy. I can't afford it. But I try. For you guys, I will try. Alrighty. Put my glue away. Every gamer needs extra glue, just in case. Ta-da! Now, I thought about getting micro hangers for these guys, for the assault frigates. But as you can see, the foam that I bought that's specifically made for this group of boxes. Because I could put this foam in the clear case if I remove all the, the buckets and everything. I could do that. But I have room to put my micro hangers for my VSDs. I have room that actually fits really nicely. They come out, no issue, no damage, all foamed. Voila, just like that. Who needs custom foam? I'm cheap. Um, and we've got measuring tools. I never go above speed three usually. Well, okay, I don't use CR90s. There we go. Um, one of the crew from uh, Intensify Forward Firepower is going to crucify me for not using CR90s. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, VSD, GSD. Um, I plan on damaging both these Imperial ships later on. Just like Space Whale. Well, I call this one Scars of Freedom. And as you can see, I've actually taken a pin to it. I talk like clothes pin and stuff. Heated it up and gashed the heck out of it. There we go. See? It's a horrible, horrible job. But I love this one. And then of course we got the Space Whale Matrix, Orca's uh, Pride. I think that's Orca's Pride. Yeah, Orca's Pride. And then I have my unnamed one that I'm working on. I don't know what I want to do with it yet. I'll figure out something. <clears throat> but yeah, that's my storage. And yeah, if you have any questions, I will say these weren't cheap. We're talking mm, the three of them plus the foam. Uh, about 120 bucks with shipping. Um, maybe a little more. Now, you guys are now thinking, like, well, if you're a cheap person, why'd you pay such? Because I love the fact that these are modular. You have no idea. They have a version of this right here that doesn't have the top section. It's just the flat bottom area that I can put foam in. Boom. There's all my big ships. Um, or I could take micro hangers, put all my squadrons in the micro hangers, and I don't even need foam at that point. I just throw it in the box. Voila done. No worries. Um, I can do that with these. It gives that modular feel. But when I get enough of these, I can spend the extra hmm, $100 or so and get the trolley it has. Because these are construction boxes. And so they have a, you know, trolley that you can, one of those little uh, pull trolleys with a top handle. It's retractable, folds up. It's really nice. It's like $110. Expensive, but worth it. But yeah, that is, in a nutshell, my storage for now. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, just put them in the comments below. Find me on the forums. Always look for Loreas. Loreas. Please and thank you. Uh, remember to click like and subscribe and have a great day.